OpenAI promised to us that we can upload images and the AI will understand what's going on and that's here now. Well, not really, because it's coming from something called Mini GPT. So today we're going to have a look at that and test if it works. So here we have our first example. I uploaded an image of this cocktail here and I said, we're having a happy hour on Sunday between 6 and 8 p.m. Please write a social media post for Instagram about this and include hashtags at the end. So this is the reply. Hey friends, join us this Sunday from 6 to 8 p.m. for a happy hour with a twist. We'll be serving up some delicious drinks, including this rosemary spritz with a twist of lime. Oh, okay. Come hang out with us and enjoy some drinks and good company. See you there. Pretty good so far. So we have some hashtags here. Let's see if it it, it, it added a, a lot of hashtags here. So let's see. We have here hashtag happy hour, rosemary spritz, drink with friends, Sunday fun day, <laughs> all right, social hour, drink and be happy. <laughs> that, that's the life, you know. Drink responsibly. Oh, that's not too bad. Liquor brand. What What is liquor brand? Alcoholic beverages, drinks the gram. <laughs> I didn't even know that's a thing. Liquor lover, oh my god, there we go. Alcoholic, oh no, <laughs> that's a little bit too far. And there's a lot more. Well, not too bad. So next, I uploaded this image here with some items and the prizes behind it. And I said, list the items and their prizes from this image. And that didn't quite work because it says in the image it's pizza, cake, water and coffee, which is not really there. And the prices range from 5 to 15 euros. Also not really correct. Maybe my handwriting is too bad for that, but I would think it should have performed a little bit better. So I wanted to ask it to calculate the total price and also suggest a tip. And I actually did that in a second attempt and that didn't work either. So let's go to another example that worked a little bit better and is also suggested by the developers. Here I'm drawing out a simple website design. It says hello world, then a button that says subscribe, which you absolutely should do and then have a nice day, of course. So I ask the AI, please write me the code for a website with this design, make the background green, the text white and the button red. So it actually looked at that. It kind of understood what's going on and it wrote me this code here. So I actually put that into an HTML file so this is what we are getting and well, it's kind of there. It even has, it's asking for email, which is pretty cool, but it's not really what I was asking for. But the code does say something about a green background and a white text. So I asked ChatGPT to correct the code and this is what I got from there. Looks a little bit nicer, is a little bit closer to what I asked for, but it still is not actually what I wanted to have. So I simply described to ChatGPT the website I want to have with all the requirements and it should write the code for me. And this is the result that ChatGPT has created for me in code. And actually it has all the requirements in there. So that works a little bit better. I made two other tests here where I uploaded the image of that cake. And first I asked what is in that image. And actually it kind of described it correctly. It says it's a slice of a strawberry cheesecake on a white plate with fresh mint leaves on the side. So that is pretty cool, I would say. And then I asked it for a list of the ingredients and also for a recipe. And it actually gave me a good list here and actually also instructions with it on how to cook that. Now, I'm not a cook. I can't really see if that is really the accurate description on how to make that. Also, the recipe is pretty bare bones, I would say. So there could be more in there for this cake recipe. But for a test, not too bad. I also made another test where I uploaded this image and I asked the AI to describe what is shown in the image. It actually understood that this is the Statue of Liberty and gave me a little bit of information about that. For example, about the designer and when it was created and how tall it is. Then I asked a bit more about the history and I also got some more information about that. Next, I asked if it can show me on a map where this statue is and it did describe the 
the location where it is. And funny enough, here it says insert map image here. So maybe that's not yet an ability of this AI to either give me a link to Google Maps or give me a screenshot of that location. But at least it tried. So that's also not too bad. They also have a video on their channel where they show different applications. Now this I think is more imagined on how it should work because all of these of course work perfectly. For example here identifying what's wrong with the plant and here and this is actually a pretty interesting example letting the AI do some fact checking if something like this can actually happen. So if this is a real photo or not. Here we have another example of the marketing. So write a text for that, things like that. And of course here it does a good job, but that is of course also a very interesting application. For the cooking, I think if it is clear what it is and how it is cooked, I see a good application there. But we also have to keep in mind that often just from a photo, you don't really know what's inside of the dish. That might be a problem. Here again is this example with the website and it can work if there is some more improvement. This is actually a pretty good application. Now here we have an example of it writing a poem for an image. Let me know what you think about poems and being written by AI. Should they come from a person? Is it okay if AI is writing poems? What do you think about that? Here we have another example where it is identifying a person and image, which I find pretty interesting and a little bit suspicious because this is a meme and we see a scene from Lion King. So it's interesting that the AI understands that this is about Elon Musk and not about the Lion King movie and it doesn't identify it as the character from that film. I'm not sure if that would really work like that. You can also test this yourself with the link below. They have a demo hosted, but it is very slow because there's a queue and sometimes you get an error. So bring some time, make a coffee and then test and have some fun with this new AI language model. So overall, this leaves me a little bit divided because on one side, it really shows some very interesting applications on how that can be used. But on the other side, if this is aimed at a local model, it's important to understand that language models, language AI is very complex and takes a lot of calculation and a very huge model. So most or all of these local models are not even close to as powerful as ChatGPT is right now. So there is, of course, a lot of limitation there. But if we think about online applications and we can think about using that through a cloud service for very powerful servers like we do right now with Siri or with the Google services or Amazon services, that of course has a lot of potential and can help us a lot with all of these applications to make them smarter and to help us through our daily lives with these additional AI functions. So that has really big potential. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Thanks for watching and leave a like. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah. <laughs>